Welcome, traders from everywhere. It is great to have you here. Tracy here bringing you another real life trading, trading view tutorial. And uh, for those of you that don't know who I am, I'm one of the mentors over at Real Life Trading. So if you're interested in learning more about how we trade or checking out some of our free content, please come on by to www.reallifetrading.com. We would love to see you there. Now in today's tutorial, I want to talk about uh, putting on the alerts or getting the alerts for the Momo indicator set up correctly on your chart. Now for those of you that don't know what the Momo indicator is, it is an indicator that was created by our very own Matt DeLong for the Real Life Trading community. It is basically a, a swing trading indicator that uh, gives you a sell and a, a buy and a sell signal. So I'm not going to get into this video on how to use the Momo. This is strictly on how to create the alerts. Uh, there are other videos that you can search up that discuss how to use the Momo indicator. So by all means, check that out. For now, though, I do want to start with how to get the Momo indicator on your chart. So the first thing that you need to do, if you haven't done it already, is head on over to the main page of TradingView and make sure that this area here is selected with people. Then what you're going to want to do is type in Matt DeLong and click enter. And you'll see him right here, so click on his name. Click on that. And you'll get to his main page. Now from there, you're going to want to hit script. And right down here, you're going to see trend following Momo. Click on that. And right down on the, this gives a little bit of an inside as far as what the actual indicator is all about. But right over here, if you haven't done so already, it's going to say add to favorites. I already have it in my favorites. So right now it's saying remove from favorites, but you want to click this to um, add to favorites so that it then says remove from favorites. So now that you've done that, that's step one. Let's head back over to the chart. And in the chart, if you don't have the Momo indicator on, let's just get this out of here. Uh, you're going to go up to indicators and strategies, this little FX button, click on it. And then in your favorites, you're going to scroll down to trend following Momo. And you're going to see that it's by Matt Long. And what you're going to do is you're going to click on that. That's going to add the indicator to your chart. So that's now how you've got the indicator on your chart. The next stage is uh, you want to be on the actual um, stock that you're interested in putting the alert on. So now that we've got, we'll just do a mock one up on Zoom. So the next thing that you're going to want to do is you highlight the indicator on the left hand side and you're going to go over to the three little dots, click on that and it's going to say add alert on trend following Momo. So you're going to click add alert. Once you've done that, the first thing that you're going to do is right here, it's going to default to bearish trend following. You're going to click that and go down to trend reversing. Click the trend reversing. The next thing you're going to do is hit once per bar close. And then from there, you can set an expiration time for this. I just leave it as the default for now. If you have the app on your phone, which is a great tool to be using, uh, I have it notify on the app so it shows up. I also have a pop-up that'll show up on my screen. And then trend changing is the message. Now, if you want to create your own name, you can. Uh, from there, you just hit create. You're going to get a warning because this alert may be triggered differently than expected because it is not a default uh, alert within TradingView. I just uh, continue anyway. I've had no issues. And then from there, you're going to now see it over on the, If you let's just get over here. If you don't have it here yet, there's the three lines that have your watch lists. Go down to the alerts, click on the alerts, and you should see the alert trend changing zoom on the 78 minute. It is active right there. Now what's going to happen is the minute that we actually do get one of these alerts, you're going to get a pop-up that says zoom 78 minute trend changing and the alert at that point you can then go and do whatever you need to do for it so this is going to show up for both the long and the short alerts and that's pretty much it so there you have it that is how you get your alerts set up for the momo indicator on trading view mm -hmm. 